What's up guys, Meredith with ExtremeTerrain.com and today we are checking out the TerraFlex Front Sway Bar Replacement Link for 3 to 4 inches of lift, fitting all 2007 through 2018 JK Wranglers. Now suspension components are not indestructible and if you're taking your JK off-roading often and you need some replacement front sway bar end links because yours have started to become a little bit worse for wear on your current suspension system, then this is gonna be a great option. Now this will only come with one in the kit. What you see is what you get on the table here. So it, this will even be great if somehow you have beat up your current TerraFlex link and you need to swap it out with a fresh link or even if you wanna keep one in your backup stash of extra parts. Now this link will have a similar design to your factory links with an upper ball joint allowing some articulation, but the lower portion of the joint is going to have a swivel bushing with a metal sleeve that you'll pop in to allow a little bit of movement down at the bottom compared to a stationary rubber bushing that will end up uh, cracking or breaking over time. Now this is also going to come with a Zerk fitting that you'll screw into the bottom of the link so you can grease the lower portion of the end link, keeping it moving freely over the course of its life to just extend that wear time. Now this link is going to measure out 10 inches from the center to center mounting point, which will offer the correct length for a three to four inch lip kit. Now it will be durable as well, made of a steel bill with a powder coat on top to hold up to the elements and resist any rusting on the metal. Now the bushings will also be made of a polyurethane material, which will last much longer and resist any cracking, again, compared to that factory setup. Now this package is going to come in at about $60 for a link, which isn't half bad considering the quality and the construction along with the added features here of a Zerk fitting and a swivel joint for better movement, yet great stability when bolted in place. Now compared to other options, this is going to be very simple and straightforward, which I think really shines through with this part. And it's also gonna come alone or with one in the kit, which is great for whatever you're doing, whether you just want a single replacement or an upgrade from your current ones or really whatever the scenario is, compared to other kits that come with two in the kit, so you may not necessarily need to, or they may have some fancy features like adjustability that you may not need, considering that this is going to be a good set length for a three to four inch lift. Now, install will be a one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter, and it should take you about 30 minutes to get this bolted up, probably about an hour if you're doing two of them. Uh, now, speaking of the install, one of our customers here has installed this on their JK and is gonna walk you through what that process looks like step by step. So that is going to wrap it up for me. Let's go ahead and get into the install. Here are the tools that I used to the job. I have my impact driver, with a 19 millimeter socket, my 3 8 inch ratchet with a 19 millimeter socket, just for a little bit easier. I had to break everything loose with the uh, impact and also tighten it up. A 5 16 open end to tighten the Zerk fittings. These bushings, because I have the quick release, I are not used in this particular package. It comes with the bushings if you don't have the quick release. Grease gun, which comes in handy a blade to open the package, my channel locks to help because one side, the nut and the bolt were both turning together and I had to grab hold of the bolt and stop it while I undid the nut on the passenger side, and a crowbar just to line up the sway bar a little bit, not to pry on anything tough, but just to push it over a little because it's a very difficult angle. Today I'm going to show you how I install TerraFlex front sway bar links on my 2012 G JK Rubicon. Okay, first we've got to remove the sway bar links that are on the car. And since I have the quick disconnect, it's very easy. I pull the pin out of the bottom, slide it over, and just let it hang. And now I'm going to go to the other side and do the same thing. Okay, now we're going to remove the passenger side. Pull the pin out. Slide the rod over, and now it's going to be easier for me to get to this nut that's on the end here because nothing's in the way. And that's why I want to drop this sway bar down. There we go. Next step is remove the upper connection for the sway bar line. And that's a 19 millimeter nut on the end. Almost got it. 
Okay. If you notice, the bolt's starting to turn, so I'm gonna reach in with a pair of channel locks and hold it tight while I loosen the nut on the other side. Okay, now the nut's off. And here's the piece. You can see 10 years of driving, it's started to rot and get loose. Since I have more room, I'll be able to use my impact driver. Now I'm just going to take a rag and wipe off the connections. The one on the top and the one on the bottom. And you can see how easy it is because I have the quick disconnect. Okay, let's go to the other side. Just going to give that a nice clean wipe. And then get the quick disconnect as well. Here's the old. You can see how worn out they are. And here's the nice new bushings, top and bottom, and a hole for the Zerk fitting so you can lube it. Next, I'm gonna install the Zerk fitting with a very small open end wrench. You wanna get these snug, not very tight, because they're very gentle and they're easy to break. So that's in there snug. Now let's do the other side. Okay. Next, I want to lube these before I put them on the Jeep. Okay, that looks good. And now the other side. Just a couple of squirts to make sure they're full. They do come with grease in them. That looks good too. You just take a minute. Clean it out so you don't make a mess. Now we're ready to put them on. We're gonna start over here on the driver's side. Goes back on in the exact reverse order of how they came off. Leave that there and go to the other side and put the top connecting nut on. Okay, there we go, got it started. That's good. And I'm gonna use my impact. To tighten it up. Now we gotta raise the sway bar up. Okay, now with the sway bar up, you can line up the bottom, disconnect, the quick disconnect, and uh, let me just get it right. Whoops, let me get it. So it lines up and I can slip it on. Channel locks, give it a little twist. There we go. And now you just gotta fuss with it a little bit to get it on. 
Okay, let me go get a little pry bar. Okay, let me just give this a little nudge here. There, it goes right on. See? And I can just pull it over. There we go. Now the top is on and the bottom is on. And I'm going to insert my locking cotter pin for the quick disconnect. And there we go. Okay, next we're going to connect the bottom portion of the bar over here on the driver's side. Just going to push it on. Use my crowbar to just gently guide it in. Wipe some of the grease off. And now I'll put the cotter pin back in. There we go. So that's going to wrap it up for my review and the install of this Terraflex front sway bar replacement link for three to four inches of lift, fitting all 2007 to 2018 JK Wranglers. And remember, for all things Wrangler, keep it right here at ExtremeTerrain.com.